Yesterday, I shared a total of three betting picks to premium members at mjpicks.com. Those plays generated a 2-1 record, and unfortunately, the only loss of the day occurred on the free play I shared with you, which was the St. Louis Cardinals at home against the Cubs. They got destroyed 10-3, which was awful. However, we won the bet on Justin Steele to record under 5.5 strikeouts as well as the LA Sparks minus 3 points against the Indiana Fever in the WNBA, who won by a 13-point margin. We have been red hot in the WNBA by winning 9 of the past 11 picks. That being said, I would like to present two MLB betting picks with you today, Friday, July 28. The first pick is under 9.5 runs to be scored in the Reds vs Dodgers game. First of all, I'd like to point out the fact that just 27% of all bets have gone on the under, while if you consider the total amount of money invested, 74% has gone on the under. That clearly means sharp action is on the under, while square bettors are betting the over. Which side do you prefer to be on? Personally, I'll follow where the wise money is going. Moreover, according to ActionNetwork.com, here is a winning betting system that has produced good profit over a long period of time. Bet the under when two teams with a winning record face each other, and less than 35% of all bets on the total have gone on the under. That's the case here, so let's take a shot at it. It's also interesting to note that 12 of the past 14 Reds games have gone under the game total. Granted, many overs have been winners during the Dodgers' most recent games. Brandon Williamson will take the mound for Cincinnati. In four July starts, he has obtained a great 2.25 ERA. He has not allowed more than 3 runs in any of his past 7 starts, which is quite a feat for a rookie. His worst outing of the year occurred on June 7 against… those same LA Dodgers. Now that he has more experience, I believe he can do a better job this time around. On the other side, the Dodgers will start Bobby Miller. Over the whole season, he has posted a 1.19 whip statistic which is quite better than the league average of 1.30. Stay tuned for my second official betting pick in Major League Baseball for today. Up next, I am taking the New York Yankees to take advantage of a potential drop in confidence in Baltimore's locker room after they dropped their past two games. There is also some speculation that Aaron Judge might suit up for this game, which would be great news for the Bronx Bombers. Garrett Cole is New York's starting pitcher. He is very reliable, as shown by the fact that he has not surrendered more than three runs in any of his past nine outings. He was hammered in his lone appearance against Baltimore this year, so I believe it will be payback time. The Orioles will counter with Grayson Rodriguez. I don't like the rookie's chances of slowing down New York's offense for today. Sure, he did a good job in his last start in Tampa Bay, but over the whole season he holds a 6.91 ERA along with an abysmal 1.66 whip statistic. Things have been even worse for him at home. Indeed, his ERA in games played in Baltimore has been 9.11. Ouch! The Yankees are still in last place of the division, so they will be extra motivated to start climbing the standings. I would not be surprised if they sweep the series, or if they won at least two of the three games this weekend. Subscribe to this sports betting channel in order to get more picks from the holder of a PhD in statistics. You could also get my premium picks at mjpicks.com, 
a platform where we have not had a week with a losing record in the past five weeks. And so far, things are looking good for this week as well. I'm Professor MJ wishing you a great weekend.